Prince Charles' secret ties to elite pedophile ring are exposed by a Freedom of Information Act request. Disturbing documents reveal close ties between Prince Charles and an elite pedophile network, including prolific pedophile Sir Jimmy Saville, have been released under the Freedom of Information Act. The documents obtained by British newspaper The Star on Sunday also revealed that a top-level cover-up was ordered to hide close ties between Prince Charles and pedophile Jimmy Saville. The former Prime Minister Sir Edward Heath, who is also under official investigation over allegations of child abuse. Originally, the documents contain redacted paragraphs designed to hide the names and the identities of the elite players involved in known pedophiles, with known pedophiles. However, the Star on Sunday launched an appeal insisting it was in the public interest to know the identity of the elites and what they were discussing. After a seven-month-long legal battle, the truth was finally revealed. The documents had been edited to hide discussions by former Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher about a close relationship between Prince Charles and notorious pedophile Seville. When investigations into Seville began in 2012, a huge cover-up by the British establishment was blown wide open. Seville was revealed to be not only abusing children himself, but also procuring children for elite pedophile rings. The Star reports, the new document shows Seville claimed Prince Charles had agreed to be a patron of one of his charities, and crucially, last year, someone in power had decided we shouldn't know that fact, despite it being common knowledge that the Prince and Weirdo Seville were close friends. Officials at the National Archive which houses these documents, last night blamed the Cabinet Office under the control of Cabinet Secretary Sir Jeremy Haywood for redacting the documents. The cover-up concerned Seville asking Prince Charles to be a patron of his Stoke Mandeville appeal. The letter to Thatcher from one of her aides reads, quote, Even more encouraging, though again confidential at this stage, Jimmy Seville tells me that Prince of Wales has agreed to be patron of the appeal, end quote. The nugget was contained in a one-page letter headed Prime Minister, dated March 6, 1980, and initialed GV. The letter was part of a Seville file released under the 30-year rule by the National Archives at Kew, Southwest London. London. It included pervert Seville declaring his love for the former Prime Minister, showing how well connected he was to establishment figures. A National Archive official explained that Charles, the Charles paragraph was excluded under Section 40 and 41. Section 40 refers to information that it would breach the Data Protection Act to reveal that that person would have a legitimate expectation that the information would remain private. Section 41 covers information that was given in confidence. Two documents in the dossier are, st are still being covered up and will stay secret for 40 years after a ruling when claims about Seville began to emerge. One misspelling Seville's name is described as letter from Jimmy Seville to Prime Minister undated. The other is telephone message from Jimmy Seville dated February 50, 1980 it was still unclear whose blushes were being spared by those sections remaining blanked out. Freedom of information campaigners have criticized officials for misusing the rules to keep information secret. Maurice Frankel, director of the Campaign for Freedom of Information, said, quote, they often use these sections to protect the identity of people who are actually players in the decision-making process who ought to be identified. Sometimes people haven't behaved properly and shouldn't have any expectation of having their identity protected. If you persist, you can succeed in overturning these decisions, end quote. That's good to know. Former top of the Pops presenter Seville was a fundraiser for Stoke Mandeville Hospital in Birkinghamshire, where he also preyed on young patients. One paralyzed woman said Seville abused her when she was 13 and recovered recovering in the children's ward in 1971. 
Nurses even warned youngsters pretend to be asleep when he visited. The hospital launched its own inquiry after a catalog of attacks was revealed across the country dating back to 1955. Seville was also allowed in and out of Charles' residence, St. James Palace, when he acted as a marriage guidance counselor for Charles and Diana, Princess Diana. Charles, who led tributes when Seville died, aged 84, in October of 2011, had sent him cigars and gold cufflinks on his 80th birthday. A note with the gifts read, quote, Nobody will ever know what you have done for this country, Jimmy. This is to go some way in thanking you for that, end quote. A spokeswoman for Charles said the redaction was nothing to do with his office. It was public knowledge that he was a patron of that appeal, she said. And the cabinet office added, quote, As a result of the review of the Freedom of Information request, the cabinet office decided a small amount of information may be released, end quote. Though, so the, the reason it was originally redacted is quoted in section 40 and 41. A review decided that a small extract could be released. This is by Baxter Dimitri on your Newswire. Thank you.